Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Wednesday the 26th of January 2022. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using the Tarot of Mystical Moments by Katerin Veltz Stein. So, my wonderful kindred spirits, I have a prayer request before we start. Um, I received an email from our dear kindred spirit, Laura, from Gazelle Tarot. Uh, Laura had gone quiet again for a while, so I did uh, drop her a line just to uh, let her know I was thinking of her. Um, and she did eventually email me back and let me know that she had been back in hospital with, I've had to write it down, um, pericardial effusion which she tells me is a um, liquid on the heart ouch oh laura <laughs> we are most certainly going to be saying prayers for you keeping you in our thoughts and most assuredly keeping you nestled safely in our hearts and we wish you a speedy recovery laura and um and we're missing your video so everyone go over to laura's last video on gazelle tarot leave her a message show her some love and support that would be absolutely magnificent my wonderful friends okay let's get this message going and our inspiration today comes from secret garden here we go And there we go. <clears throat> and today's inspiration is opportunity. There's no use looking for luck. It arrives at unexpected times. <laughs> oh, divine timing. Wow. There's no use looking for luck. It arrives at unexpected times. OK, friends. Let's see what wonderful message Spirit has for us for the middle of the week. Here we go. Thank you. What is the message from Spirit? For my wonderful friends. Thank you. For Wednesday the 26th. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So your cards are. The Knight of Swords. Followed by the Eight of Pentacles. And finishing with the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> wow. Okay, your first card is the fabulous Knight of Swords. Um, wow. <laughs> I really feel that this is this is coming in, friends. Uh, new opportunities, um, and you're not looking for luck because you you know it's divine timing. It will arrive at unexpected times, but spirit saying, just keep looking for the signs, following them, follow the signs, follow your intuition. Nights they talk of movement, um, action, uh, journey. The Knight of Swords. Um, very impulsive, um, really is in tune with his, um, okay, here we go again, this is the, this is the difference between the information and intelligence I am hearing, uh, swords, the element of air, um, air, your, your thoughts, your communication, so, um, the Knight of Swords really, <laughs> whew, flying in, um, here we see cutting through uh, this cloud. Um, let's see, is that um, a what? No, actually, it looks more like oh, it's it's a fountain pen. Um, wow, 
So this is you being very mindful of your words because you know that if you are out of balance, your words can be very cutting. Um, and this is also um, about how we are talking to ourselves, not just to others. I am hearing. Uh, so the Knight of Swords really dashing in telling you that there there are opportunities all around you um, but your job here on the earth plane is to be very mindful of your thoughts uh, your words what you are speaking out into the uh, universe for that is your vibration your frequency your karma uh, what you are putting out will be coming back so are your words cutting are are you um, being really down on yourself or down on others? Are you criticising, being overcritical, I am hearing? So I really feel this Knight of Swords is coming in to help move energy, I am hearing. Um, and this energy is really one of, it is air, it is, it's really all around thoughts, communication, how you are thinking, um, and how you are internally speaking to yourself, I am hearing, for your internal world uh, surely will show up in your external world, I am hearing. Oh, this is... Well, knights, they're, oh, they, they have courage, they have bravery, they have honour. Um, honour is the word honoring yourselves and from honoring yourselves comes honoring others i am hearing <laughs> wow okay next we have the eight of pentacles eight is the number of its abundance its harvest its manifestation uh, it is the number of you believing in yourself and here you've gone from a writing pen to a painting brush oh boy <laughs> pentacles um the element of earth uh, so this is how well they are all uh, minor arcana so this is how you are um in the physical in the earth plane master manifestors look at what you are manifesting my wonderful friend again we have this uh huge butterfly butterfly is really important for us at the moment as we are going through a monumental um change um okay and this is you that making the change from the inside you have literally painted this butterfly uh from within to without this is how others would look at you and see you they would see your heart as this beautiful um butterfly with absolutely silken gossamer wings um okay and the eight of pentacles well it speaks of mastery because it speaks of you becoming skilled um this is you becoming either skilled at something that you are doing or 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 becoming skilled with yourself working on yourselves and i do see this with this first card that you are working on yourselves more mindful of your thoughts um the, the words that you are speaking out into the universe and the words that you are speaking to others from this mindfulness comes this wonderful time of manifestation abundance and harvest because these is the positivity that you are putting out into the universe this is the monumental change that's not only going on in the collective but also going on individually wow <laughs> wow 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 really been putting that work in on yourselves you are really becoming skill master wordsmiths master creators Oh, wow. <laughs> the wheels of fortune and opportunity really turning in your favour now, friends. Really entering a, a wonderful new karmistic uh, pattern and time. And next we have the Ten of Pentacles. So, Ten endings and beginnings we get another circle i'm just being shown the eight of swords from yesterday uh the the circle around the medicine wheel um 
And I truly feel that we have really left an old karmistic circle or cycle uh, and really entering this wonderful new time. <laughs> Look at us riding in on, on spirit feathers, on the birds of a wing, okay? On the wings of a dove. Right, that's a song I'm just hearing and I can't remember who did that. On the wings of a dove. No, I won't waste time on, on trying to think of the uh, artist. I'll let you leave it in the comment section or I will find it when I find the link for the song. OK, so the Ten of Pentacles. This is domestic harmony, domestic bliss. But here you are sat upon um, a tree. Uh, this tree is showing uh, the rings here. Um, I'm just being uh, shown... Um, an oak tree um, and I'm being given the words um, strength, um, magnificence. Um, again, this is something that you have really been working hard on. Um, and for me, this is, well, domestic harmony, bliss. Um, it's it's heart. It's all heartfelt. So you have really been working on your heart, the true generator, the caring, the kindness, the compassion. That is what you are putting out into the world. Mindful of what you are putting out into the world. For this, spirit is really rewarding you as 10 is an ending. It's also a beginning. And so it's almost like you are now ending on a good note and beginning on a good note uh, this note that you are writing with your pen <laughs> wow 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 um, and as I look at the gentleman I mean he looks seasoned um, and we may be seasoned some of us but we've always still got something to learn something new to learn so spirit is saying um, embracing endings and beginnings um, wow um, masters really becoming masters. Uh, you have graduated, my wonderful friends. Absolutely. <laughs> you have graduated. OK, next we will have a card from the deck I dedicated to my dear kindred spirit sister, Laura. And it is Sacred Destiny Oracle by Denise Lynn. And I dedicated this to Laura because it was full of birdies. <laughs> And here we go. What is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends? For Wednesday the 26th, thank you. And your Sacred Destiny Oracle card is Purification. That's what you've done, my wonderful friends. This is the, how you've really been working on yourselves, cleansing yourselves, purifying yourselves, releasing yourselves from all of that toxic, negative, stale, stuck energy. And oh boy, look at you springing forth. Uh, again, I really feel this is night energy. Um, this is forward movement. I'm, Oh, wow. <laughs> and sunflowers. Abundance. Wow. Really coming with this eight of pentacles. So purification. Summer rain. Traditionally, rain symbolizes rebirth and washing one's sins away. Water is also associated with emotions and a summer rain can represent the release of long-held emotions that allows for a purification and inner healing. There is also a renewal aspect of rain. The old saying, April showers bring May flowers, means that what follows the rain is a time of renewal and blossoming. The sacred landscape wants you to know it's difficult for new, vibrant energy to enter your life if it is clogged with old and outdated energy. 
cleanse and purify your body and your physical space. This is a great time for a detox, clutter clearing, cleansing and space clearing. Release outdated energy to invite fresh, clear energy into your life. Eat lightly. Don't take things personally. Release resentment, guilt and blame. Purify yourself. Thought, word and deed. Decluttering is a modern day alchemy. If you don't love it or use it, let it go. This card can also represent abundance as flowing water is a metaphor for prosperity and summer rain is the time of expansion. We are in a time of renewal, my wonderful friend. I really felt impulse to uh, pick this elephant today and I will show you there is another little elephant inside. Um, and I really felt it represented uh, where we are at the moment with um, death and rebirth. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. OK. Next we will have a card from Oracle of Mystical Moments, also by Katherine Feltstein. Her artwork is just divine. <laughs> Okay, here we go. And there we go. And your mystical moment oracle card is number 14, the art of seduction. Oh, that's what you're doing, friends. You've fallen in love with yourselves. And and with this falling in love with yourself, um, this love energy, it, it's spilling out into your outer world. So uh, from this love of yourself, then others are looking to you with love, loving eyes, uh, maybe even passion. <laughs> Who knows? OK, so 14, 1 plus 4 becoming 5, the number of conflict, crisis, chaos, but also transformation and change. So... Love, womanhood, passion, seduction. We see an elegantly dressed couple, the woman close to the man, as she whispers something in his ear. Is she talking about love? What kind of secrets is she telling him? In her red jewelled gown, the woman is aware of her powers of seduction. She uses her femininity, beauty and passion. She tempts all of his senses, from the scent of a fragrant bloom to a soft touch on his cheek. There is incredible power in her gentle words and delicate caress. There is incredible power in her gentle words and delicate caress. Oh, friends, wow, wow, this change that I just see before me, um, that you have brought about um, for yourselves and therefore for the collective. It's just beautiful. Um, and I'm drawn to the flowers in this card. Of course, we see uh, the, the gentleman there holding a beautiful red rose, reminding us of the beautiful Ruby, the trusty steed. <laughs> and well, here we go. The Magic of Unicorns by Diana Cooper, whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds. And let's call on the beautiful Ruby now. The kind red spirit. Here we go. Thank you, Ruby. Oh, OK. She has given two. Let's just... Well, we're not too bad for time. And she must want you to have them, otherwise she wouldn't give them to you. So your cards from Ruby, the kind red spirit. Ah, number 17. Go with the flow. Relax and trust and accept what is happening. And nine. Open your heart. Love yourself and dare to be vulnerable. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. 
let's whiz through these if we can. So 17, of course, in Major Arcana, it is the star card, the make a wish. And 1 plus 7 becoming 8. Of course, again, the master manifesto. Life is like a river, sometimes racing and other times quite still. Right now, the currents of the universe are flowing in your favour. So relax, surrender and allow the tide that you are being carried uh, to, sorry and allow the tide you are on to carry you forward if you if your life feels like a rushing torrent enjoy the exhilarating ride however recognize that there may be submerged rocks eddies or even waterfalls to negotiate and ask your unicorn to keep a protective ball of white light around you if your life seems to be meandering along rather slowly, accept this too as a gift. This is what you need right now. So let go of any frustrations or boredom. Don't try to push ahead. Rather, take the opportunity to relax and enjoy the peace and look at the beauty of the world as you drift along <laughs> and have faith that everything is all in divine order. And Ruby says to go with the flow, close your eyes and relax. See or sense the river of your life. Is it fast or slow, wide or narrow, deep or shallow? Ask your unicorn to place a protective ball of white light around you. You are held in unicorn energy. Now surrender to the cosmic current. Sense yourself floating along, quickly or slowly, enjoying the journey. Your affirmation is... I relax and go with the flow. I relax and go with the flow. I relax and go with the flow. And number nine, open your heart. Love yourself. Dare to be vulnerable. There are 33 chambers in your heart chakra, all containing lessons of love. Your heart is open to the extent that you have mastered these. A warm and loving heart enfolds other people so that they feel safe and loved and in return they love you. As your heart opens and you feel free to share your feelings, you also allow yourself to be vulnerable. So people immediately trust you and feel close to you. This card reminds you to be generous and giving of yourself. Your guidance is to breathe into your heart. Ask your unicorn to illuminate this centre with its horn of diamond light. When it pours pure love into all the chambers of this chakra and lights them up, this dissolves any old hurts or blocks that you may still have. Most important of all, appreciate yourself. Be kind to yourself. Feel your heart becoming warm and expansive. Your unicorn is reminding you that when you love and value yourself, any lower emotions dissolve in the glow of your inner worth. Then you become caring and compassionate towards humans and animals. You radiate unconditional love and acceptance towards all sentient beings and they respond with kindness. You see the loving essence of others and your path becomes happier. Opening your heart is the greatest possible way to light up your journey. For an open heart attracts help, kindness, true friendships and all the support that you need from the human, animal and angelic worlds. Ruby says, to open your heart, close your eyes and focus on your heart chakra. Rub your chest and sense it becoming warm. Visualise the spiral of 33 chambers. Ask your unicorn to illuminate them all. See the light spreading until your entire heart chakra is ablaze and breathe into the experience and then thank your unicorn. Your affirmation is, my unicorn lights up my heart, my unicorn lights up my heart, my unicorn lights up my heart, 
and so it is. And I learned something the other day, friends, that I actually didn't know, that your heart actually pumps blood back into itself first before it pumps it round the body. So, <laughs> taking a lesson from the heart of feeding and nourishing ourselves first, and then we can nourish the rest. Wow. Okay. Just two um, trinkets today, both silver, so both the colour of the Divine Masculine. And of course, <laughs> representing our monumental change is our traditional butterfly. Wow, it's going on the Eight of Pentacles, joining all of its fellow butterflies. Wow, wow, wow. And... Last but by no means least, we have our prancing, dancing ruby. Um, of course, horses um, representing uh, grace, strength, power, um, <sighs> courage, character, strength of character. OK. And trusting your instincts, Ruby is just saying at the end there. Thank you, Ruby. Trusting your instincts. OK. And Ruby wants to go on the Open Your Heart card. Wow. And she says, I am dancing right through it, my wonderful friends. Know that Ruby is nestled in your hearts also. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. What a beautiful, beautiful message, friends, for the middle of the week. Well, thank you for all of your likes, your shares. Welcome you subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. You have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits. Thank you too for your warm, kind, encouraging comments and emails. I really enjoy receiving them, so do keep them coming. And so, my wonderful friends, may favour be with you all as I wish you a joyful, a peaceful and a truly blessed day. And until next time, my friends, goodbye.